Hello, the... Uh... Huh. Let me just close that. Hello there, dear viewers. I am the bedroom commentator. And what you just saw, I have no idea what it is. Because Technic has updated. I said Technic, I do mean tech it. Now, instantly, this is what I'm covering. Because we have lost some mods, unfortunately. I know it's sad, but we have gained others. And one of the greatest things I saw when I... I haven't fully checked what's been added. But one of the greatest things is the weapons mod has been added. Yes, I really wanted to make a musket. Um, unfortunately, the crafting table 3 is gone. And there's something missing here, but I wasn't sure what it was. But anyway, I don't think we're missing too much. But we are missing something. The project state table is still around. But anyway, yes. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more things that have been added. But I'm really happy to hear that the weapons mod has been introduced yet again. Now, I'm not going to make a musket, and you may be shocked. Um, actually, I need two more iron. Because you'd be saying, well, I want to see a musket. You told us you were going to make a musket, then the weapon pod was removed, and now you're not. No, I'm not. But that is because... Oh, one minute. That is because I want to make a crossbow instead. Because, and the only reason really is, I can make more crossbow balls crossbow balls than I can um, musket balls. Musket balls require paper. In fact, I could just show you. Uh, there we go. A musket ball requires one iron, one gunpowder, and one paper. Okay, so look at the EMC, look at the EMC, look at the EMC, and you get eight. Okay. But, what does a crossbow bolt require? Well, as you just saw, one iron, one feather. Much, much, much more uh, cheap, and I'm not sure if I can use the mini condenser. You have to forgive me, I have a crap ton of... No, you can't use the mini condenser. I have a crap ton of lily pads. There is a reason for that. And we'll get to that in a minute, but I want to test out this crossbow, see how it fires. So I've loaded it, now what do I... Ooh, got some recoil. Hmm, from what I can tell, it doesn't have a durability. It seems to be infinite. It's closed, isn't it? So it doesn't have a durability, but you do have to reload it after every shot. What's its accuracy like? Let's try and shoot that square. Hmm. And it doesn't seem to have much drop. So it's not affected by gravity so much, and I'm sure it's much stronger, and it has infinite health. Very good. Oh good, the steel plant still works. Very good. I was afraid that might have broken. Oh, um, also, the windows are now fully clear. I don't know if that was in last episode. Oh, yes, that brings me to an important point. Unfortunately, ever so unfortunately, well, it's been a while since I recorded last episode, and um, the only episode I recorded since then and now, I kind of deleted. The reason, very, it's a very good reason, I was ill, so my voice wasn't very good. Plus, there was just, like, weird errors all the way through the video. It wasn't good, so I deleted it. And it says, explain cactuses and recall what happened. Now, I kind of know what I meant, but at the same time, I have no idea what I meant. By recall cactuses, I mean I built an automated cactus farm. It was only one level back then, but I've had two levels since then, so, like I said, because I deleted the episodes, you've not seen any of this. I also built a sugar game farm. But what the other thing was talking about, I don't know. I can't recall what happened. So yeah, there was I built one level of a cactus farm, and then I built two levels on top of it. And uh, there was some piping underneath. Obsidian transport pipes. Billy, actually, did I show this off last episode? I think I may have. They can maybe get confused, but the obsidian transport pipes suck in items. Yes, I do think I showed this off. Because these drop down to the obsidian transport pipes. Basically, if a cactus falls in the water anywhere, it will fall into the water below. Now, I do believe there is a grate. Oops. Yes, there it is. 
A great works in pretty much the same way a sign would work in terms of controlling water. Water will flow over it and items will fall through it. But I had signs, so I might as well use signs. But that's enough of the cactus farm. It's basically just been very slowly generating cactus farming. Main purpose is pipe waterproof, secondary purpose is EMC I guess, if I ever needed it. And don't worry, I'm not going to leave it out like that, I know it looks very ugly. I am going to build a building around it. But nevertheless, um, okay, what else? Red wheat plus issues, cacti and sugar cane farm, water pump. Oh yes, the water pump. Let me just set it to day. I know this is technically, oh I can't. Uh, can I change it today? No. On. I was going to do it for demonstration purposes, but it looks like I'm going to have to go sleep. I'm sorry about that. It seems I can't seem to change the time of day anymore. Very strange. Hmm. Oh dear. Ah. I don't know what that F... Oh, eight what? Now they're there. Well, I might as well just sleep now, anyway. I don't know what happened when I pressed F9 to start wrapped. A menu popped up, and I can't check it out because it will stop wrap, so... I'll just go with it. Okay. So yeah, I changed the water plant. And uh, I encased it because I didn't want it to get destroyed. Now, I've got big plans for this place. First of all, I want to stop using fuel in these engines. Second of all, I want to expand it. Let me show you something first. You may be seeing this above the things, uh, and questioning, what on earth are they? Well, they are to control overflow, or waste of water. Whenever these things are full and not generating power, water would come in and go into them and still be wasted. I wouldn't generate power, but water would be lost. So instead, the water will go upwards into these tanks, if this is full, and then they're constantly being pumped out, and all the water converges here, all the water goes down, all the water goes across, and across, and back into the system. So there's an infinite loop until they need more power. It basically almost doubled the efficiency because I'm no longer getting wasted water. So when I change these two glass fibre cables, I can expand this outwards and introduce more of them. But we'll get to that in future episodes. Now, I don't believe I showed you this red wheat. Um, it has me confused because I have no idea what if I'm crossbreeding right. Oops. Darn. So I could just uh, broke a crop and that's all my crops gone. Oops, I didn't mean to do that either. Oh, I'm messing up my farm. Oh dear. Oh dear, I'm messing up my farm. I didn't mean to. Seriously, I didn't. What is this? So this is red wheat. What? Why am I trampling everything now? I'll just let that grow. Oh, that just gave me wheat. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. The crops are being weird. I didn't use to trample them, but now I do. Anyway. Because that's also what changed. And I'll, I harvest those every now and then. Don't worry about them. Um, What else did I change? I think that's about it. So yeah, we have a crossbow now, but if we have a look, we ha also have many, many other weapons too. Um, melee weapons, or like I said, there's a musket. What was that? A duplicator. Sounds fancy. Find them. There they are. We've got halberds, battle axes, war hammers, spears, knives, flails, the musket, the bayonet, a cannon, dynamite, fire rod. Training dummies. Oh, yeah. A blunderbuss. Very interested in that. We also have various other machines and stuff I'm not familiar with because I've never seen them before. Various sensor modules and stuff. And of course, these are not updated to the texture pack, and there is no update currently at the time of this recording. So, uh, that is unfortunate, but you'll just have to bear with it until it updates. Showcase steel plant unnamed. Wait, did I not showcase this? Um, one second. Alright, good. Oh, no. If I did not show you this, this machine I've got built, I'm sure I did. I'll have to check a previous recording after this episode. 
um, if I haven't shown you this, I will quickly run over it now and check it later. So I need to replace this with an advanced wooden transport, which is a normal wooden transport pipe, but you put a redstone on top. I'm going to insert that in. So what does this do, you may ask? Well, I had a problem, and like I said, if I've not gone over this, don't worry, I will re-go over it. Um, but right now I'm just going to go quickly over it, in case I've already gone over what this is um, in previous episodes. In fact, one second again. Well, it turns out I did not showcase this. Okay, let's get to it. In the last five minutes of this episode, I guess I'll have to do that. Okay, so I was working on this steel plant, which is unnamed and you guys can help name it for me. These four levers, using red power cables, as I previously showed, will activate these four items, as you can see. They've all been named to tell me what they do. This chest will collect used, uh, the byproduct of Creoso oil. We deposit iron ingots into this chest, and we get steel bars in this chest. Now, let's see how it works. Now, we've color-coded them, white, red, blue, and green. So let's go have a look in the maintenance. Here we can see the red wire activates the coal coke removal. I do believe that is what it is, the red one. Yes, coal coke removal. Okay, so that's where the red wire goes. And it's very convoluted back here, so my apologies. It's very hard fitting it all in. Here are the green wires. The green wires will remove, I do believe, the steel ingots. The steel ingots will race down these pipes and flow into the steel ingots chest. Here are the bundled cables, which come out the back and come down here. This is where it splits for the first time. We have this one, steel ingot removal, and this one. This one powers, if you can just see it, this chest here, which is the iron ingots. The iron ingots come across this pipe, and they move... Oh, the, I can't seem to get up. They move up the pipe and distribute themselves into these... Uh, what are they called? Blast furnaces. Yes. We follow this wire. This will split into red and white. Again, red removes coal coat. White removes creoso. And the piping and wiring system brings them to their designated zones. It's not too interesting. You don't really need to see it. And this is where the cable from the hydro plant is. And yes, I do want to stick a geothermal generator on that as well. And I also want to use build craft to generate power. Uh, low voltage power, because I'm high, high voltage power is just going to require coal, and where's the point in that? So anyway, yeah, so I was having an issue. Uh, there's no real way of showing you this, but when I removed steel from the chest in the pipe, they wasn't distributing themselves evenly across these four. This is how I ended last episode. Look, 25, 6, 9, 12. Obviously this isn't right, so... That's more right, I guess. Well, the reason is, is because it got here, 50% chance of going either way. Got here, 50% chance of going either way. Got here, 50% chance of going either way, and I went in there. So, basically this had the lowest percent chance of getting an item, and this had the highest percent chance. Using that pipe, I just showed you how to craft you can actually, it will evenly distribute it in all its outputs. So it will detect these four outputs, and it will just evenly distribute them between. Uh, see that. Oh, darn it. So here they are again. Uh, Alright, I did show you how to make them. Never mind. We've only got a minute left, but I guess I'll go a little over time since we haven't done anything this episode. So, we can see these do not have any creosote oil. But, as they burn coal, which they finish doing, they create coal coke. So there's no creosote, sorry, they've been removed. But we will activate the coal coke pumps, which t shuts this door for us, apparently. And, uh, coal coke will, as you can just see, pipe its way up from there. And we will leave it at four. I believe that's three. So we'll turn it off now. So, iron addition pumps. Pretty straightforward. They will add iron to these things. They've got plenty of iron, so I'm not going to turn them on. They will just take them out of this chest and pipe them in. And, 
Activate steel bar removal once. Well, we'll turn this off because we want to gather our steel bars. There we go. It's still in it, but I didn't want to change the sign. <laughs> so that's that. And as you can see, the steel ingots are being removed and added because they are being cooked too. So, eventually, ah, there we go, we can see them being added. So, it's a very automatic way of generating what we need. Of course, it's very expensive in terms of, you know, coal and iron to get steel, because I don't really have a use for steel. But it's nice to have that to be generated. So, at the end of the last episode, I asked you guys to name this thing. And of course, I deleted that episode like a, an idiot. I should have just shown it anyway. So, since this episode has come to an end, again, I pose you with that question. Try and come up with a name for this thing. I really can't think of anything that would suit it. It's like this massive, slight like, stone. It's a huge mark on the land. It's, like, really dirty, I imagine, and smoggy and industrious. I'm sure you guys can think of something. But uh, I thank you so much for watching this episode. And in the next episode I'm going to go over a couple more things. I know this episode was a little bit bland, nothing happened. And in fact we're going to go over the teleportation powering pipes, which will power the water pump uh, using a power converter. And there's a sad face of the new update, but it also should be a happy face, because not everything is bad. And uh, we showcased the steel pan now. I know it wasn't great, but I was running out of time. And glass fiber cables. Oh, I really need to get on that so I can increase the size of this thing. But I thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.